name is David Gordon. I'm the executive director of Pacific Environment. We're really thrilled today to be taking a great group of people out on our uh, vessel watch trip, taking people out to the Farallon Islands to learn about the impacts of uh, shipping noise on marine mammals. Pacific Environment works around the Pacific Rim. We protect the living environment of the Pacific Rim by supporting communities to have a larger voice on environmental issues. And the goal of this project is to get people here in the Bay Area involved directly in protecting our marine mammals from shipping noise and other human-made noise. You're aboard the Kitty Cat, um, Captain Joe. I uh, run the Kitty Cat out to the Farallons each morning in pursuit of uh, searching for whales. We work in the Gulf of the Farallons. Um, lately, we've had tremendous uh, marine mammal sightings. Uh, as an example, yesterday we had three blue whales, nine humpbacks, one leatherback turtle, and two tufted puffins. So we have an adventure ahead of us today. We are about to begin our first spot sampling survey for whales in the western shipping lane. We are approaching the green buoy. If you look uh, directly out from that buoy, you'll see a red buoy across the way uh, on the other side. That is the shipping lane. We are now going to travel 10 knots just inside the shipping lane. Uh, please keep your eyes open and record any data. Begin marking our latitude and longitude. Now the survey begins at 9.12 a.m. Pacific Environment's Marine Sanctuaries campaign has a goal to reduce ocean noise in our sanctuaries and marine protected areas. As it turns out, global shipping, which carries 90% of all of our goods to market around the world, is creating a tremendous amount of noise in our oceans. They're becoming so noisy that whales and dolphins and fish are not able to communicate, to hear, and to thrive and survive as they have. Today we watched blue whales swimming and we did get a chance to drop the hydrophone and listen to the sounds of the ocean. People were able to hear for the first time what it sounds like under the water when a ship is driving by. These are huge ships that sound a little bit like a freight train underwater. And I think uh, it gave people a chance to understand that interplay between ocean noise and mammals who depend on their ability to use acoustics to survive. Pacific Environment wants you to be involved. We believe that the community are the best stewards of our environment. By going and finding us on the web at www.pacificenvironment.org, you can learn about our programs and what we're doing to reduce ocean noise pollution in our sanctuaries and marine protected areas. Come out and join us with SF Bay Whale Watch, um, and uh, San Francisco Whale Tours. Those are two groups that I work with. And it would be great to take you out there and experience an amazing adventure. You'll be on the largest dominant feature on our planet, the Pacific Ocean.